Hey guys, today we are going to discuss the problem Grizzly Circuits, which is based on graph theory. So, let's begin with the problem statement. Given an undirected graph where V is the set of vertices and E is the set of edges, find the minimum number of edges to add to the graph such that there exists an Euler circuit. Now, what is an Euler circuit? An Euler circuit in an undirected graph is a walk that traverses on each edge of the graph exactly once and starts and ends on the same vertex. Such a walk should also visit all the vertices in the graph. So, in a given graph, which can be connected or not, we have to find the minimum number of edges so that there exists an Euler circuit in the graph. Let's look at the sample test case. We can see 1 and 2 are connected, and 2 and 3 are connected. So, if we start from 1 and try to build an Euler circuit, we can only reach up to 3. That is, we'll not be able to get back to 1. Hence, if we add one edge, that is, 1 and 3, then we can get an Euler circuit, that is, 1, 2, 3, and 1. Now, let's revise necessary conditions for an Euler circuit to exist in an undirected graph. First, the graph should be connected. Second, the degree of each vertex should be even. Now, let's try building our solution based on these conditions. Before we start, we should keep in mind that if a component contains all the vertices with even degrees, then we will need two edges to connect this component with the other component, one edge to enter this component while moving along the Euler circuit, and one edge to exit this component. However, if we have a component which contains some vertices with odd degrees, then we use these vertices to connect this component with other components. In such cases, we will enter into the component by connecting one edge with any one vertex with odd degree, which will make its degree even and exit the component with another vertex, making degree even of this vertex. Apart from these two vertices, we can make the degree even of all the other vertices of this component by joining them among themselves. So let's write the solution. I am going to write my solution in C++ and I will use all predefined functions available to write fast and effective code from the contest point of view. Initially, I defined some arrays and a vector. My vector graph stores the given graph. Array degree keeps the count of degree of any vertex. I have used a visited array to check if I previously visited this vertex or not. And finally, my component odd count keeps the count of number of odd degree vertices in a component. Let's start with the main function. First, I am taking t as an input. That is the number of test cases. For each test case, I'll call clear function. This will clear my vector and initialize all array values to zero. Next, I am going to take the number of vertices and the number of edges as input. After this, I'm going to take the graph as input, and while taking the graph as input, I'm going to increase the degree of each vertex by one. Now, my answer contains the final answer and the component number contains the number of components existing in the current graph. Now, I am going to apply DFS on each component. I will check if I visited this vertex in some previous DFS or not. If not, then I'm going to call DFS on this vertex. I'm going to mark this vertex and if the degree of this vertex is odd, then I'm going to increase the component odd count for this component number by one. Finally, I will call DFS on the adjacent unvisited vertices. Clearly, component odd count for all the component number will be even. Now, we are going to traverse the component odd count array and keep adding it to the answer. The only thing to keep in mind is the case when component odd count for some component number is zero. In that case, we will add two to our answer because we have to connect this component with others and we need two edges for that. One for going inside the component and another for going outside the component. However, we should ensure that in such conditions, the number of components should be more than one. Here we are counting twice for each component, once for each side of the edge. So we will divide the final answer by two. Let's try compiling it. Cool, all accepted. 